Greetings, welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Rule the Waves as Great Britain, Admiral George Hornblower. Last time I left us on a Tortuga power style cliffhanger as we entered into a major battle and really didn't have time to play it out. So here we are. Looks like it's bad visibility. This is a bad omen for us. Because it's been my experience that no matter what, when it comes to bad visibility, the, N the AI always gets to fire torpedoes before you even see them. So it's kind of hard, hard to dodge when you don't even see what you're supposed to be dodging. Looks like I have control of one armored cruiser up here. See this. Actually. There we go. All right, yep. And then I have over here, I have two How Clash Dreadnoughts under my control. These are the older cross deck firing dreadnoughts. Then I have two other dreadnoughts over here that I don't have direct control of. And a own battleship over there, which I love. Okay. Well, let's unpause and see what happens. Unknown ship spotted. Okay. This is exactly what I was afraid of. This is my scout force, and this is probably their scout force as well. Fortunately, that looks far enough away. I don't think we're in any immediate torpedo danger, but still the maneuver like we are. James calling that a battleship, but unlikely it's probably some piazza. There's a battle cruiser up there. When my ships fired a torpedo. Let's take a look at this battle cruiser. Uh, six 12 inch guns, 14 6 inch guns, 8 inches of belt. My armored cruiser here should be almost a match for that. Yeah, I can penetrate it with my primaries and my secondaries. Yeah, so. My armored cruiser should be able to take on that battle cruiser. Then I have another armored cruiser down here too, which is not under my control, but still there. They have a armored cruiser of their own. That's a pretty decent ship. Nowhere near as good as mine, but a decent and respectable ship. Visibility is about to get worse. Hampshire must have taken engine hits. Yep. Machinery disabled, so. Alright, so it's going to be dead in the water here pretty quickly, which is really dangerous. Hitting the Prince Heinrich. Got a 13 inch hit on the Prince Heinrich. Not showing any 
clear damage yet, but I imagine it's pretty badly hit. Quite a lot of hits on it. There's another one. That's another 13 inch hit. Uh, took a hit to the turret top, which did not penetrate. That's good. Those destroyers are wandering back down in the range. And then broadside on to, and we hit an unsighted. Ooh, and the Hampshire took a torpedo flat hit. Prince Henrik's taking quite a beating here. Main lines are beginning to close in. All right. I think we can declare the Prince Henrik a goner. The Abukur is coming right up beside it. Yeah, my entire squad is kind of swarming around it, but with um, this many ships on all sides of it, they won't be able to launch any torpedoes. Maybe the Eden, as the tail end Charlie down there, will be able to fire a torpedo. <clears throat> okay. So, where do we think they're heading? Probably heading for... Right here. I imagine they're probably heading for Emden, so I'm going to set course for Emden as well. Maybe we'll intercept. They're on their way. Battle Division. Main line can head that way as well. All right. This battle might be over, effectively. We're going to try to guess where they're going, and maybe we'll stumble back upon them. All right, Ben Bow's spots an unidentified ship. It's probably... Oh, yeah, okay. All right. I'm going to have my dreadnoughts down. Flat man. Ooh, this is not good. Light cruiser. Probably a destroyer then. Uh, took two 14 inch gun hits and two 6 inch gun hits, so whatever it is, it's hurting. <laughs> light damage. <laughs> Got more light damage. Alright, turn. Torpedo danger right now. Whatever these things are, we're hitting them pretty good. Turn again. Destroyers, yeah, those probably are destroyers. Well, that one's a goner.
So I really don't like the idea of fighting destroyers with dreadnoughts. But now this one might actually be a cruiser since I'm hitting it with 14 inch guns. It's typically guns larger than 6 inches. Damn it. Yeah, that is a light cruiser. Not bad off is the how. All right, the how is gonna be okay. It took a bad hit, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna reduce speed of this division. So, so far, we've claimed an armored cruiser, one light cruiser, and a handful of destroyers. After the how took a bad torpedo hit, but it's going to be okay. That, H, that overall HP bar has shown that being in far worse condition than the actual ship status does. Go back to run and... Well, I'm partly tempted to just pull off now because I've got a pretty decent win here. But I really need to reduce the size of the German more. Alright, what do we have spotted here now? I'd like to take out that battle cruiser we saw earlier. Okay, so Rodney, turn, 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 turn. Everybody, turn, turn, turn. Okay. Good, we're tucked in behind whatever these things are. I think they're destroyers. Get an ID on them, that'd be great. I'm not saying that one's an armored cruiser, which is likely, but generally speaking, if initial target, the initial identification is bigger than what it actually is. Now I'm gonna have my scout group turn back and maybe we can catch them in between us. I'm not going to try engaging their main body, but if I can wipe out their scout force, it would be a huge loss to their fleet. All right, here we've got spots again. All right. That says it's an armored cruiser. It's taking hits. All right. Six inch hits, uh, six inch hits on that, what's claiming to be an armored cruiser. Alright, one of their armored cruisers got hit by a torpedo. Alright, so that is an armored cruiser. A not very good armored cruiser, but it is an armored cruiser. Yeah, look at that. Two 8 inch guns, 10 6 inch guns. Yeah. The only thing that makes this an armored cruiser is the fact that it has five and a half inches of belt. This is a, one of my light cruisers in all other respects. Now it's claiming that's a dreadnought. Thinking that's the battle cruiser. Love to pick that off.
Come on, how? Don't get torpedoed again. All right, it's giving me control of the how. No, that actually is a dreadnought. How about that? Checked out this dreadnought. 10, 12 inch guns. Okay. And how's dead in the water? All right, Rodney, I want you to turn back. Now, just make it happen here. Close that screen before I saw what happened. How limits flooding. All right. All right, enemy dreadnought hit by torpedo. Okay, how make whatever speed you can, and you are to head for port. You've done your job already. Uh, enemy battleship is hit by torpedo. A uh, house hit by a dead torpedo. Yeah. A destroyer is hit by a torpedo. I was in serious trouble here. Damn it, now Rodney and the how I was sinking. Damn it. Rodney's hit by a torpedo. The Rodney's probably a goner now too. Okay, you guys, I don't want you engaging the main line. I want you to swing south. How's been torpedoed again? Really should have just cut my losses. Really should have just been happy with sinking an armored cruiser on a light cruiser, but I had to go for more. Now, I've lost one of my dreadnoughts. And I don't know about the Rodney. Let's check on the Rodney here. All right, the Rodney's going to be okay. So this might not be a complete disaster. I've done a lot of damage to them. On the same token, I've lost the light cruiser and a dreadnought. Granted, it's an older style dreadnought, but still a dreadnought. The how is sunk. Here comes one of my armored cruiser groups. Check on Satan. Yeah, it's sinking. All right. So at this point here, we're just gonna have to wait to see till the battle's over to see what the actual result's gonna be. It might still be a victory. The old capture is firing at the unknown ship. Right there. I mean, it's a battle cruiser. Unlikely. We're just going to wander back to port here. And see what the tally is. Is 
I scored some very important torpedo hits. Last destroyer. Come down and head for Grimsby. Yep, that's going to be the plan right there. Just head for Grimsby. I really dislike those low visibility. They take so much the control of the battle away from you. Especially when you're playing in Admiral's mode. Battle timer's almost up now. All right, uh, major victory for the Germans. Yes, they sent one of my dreadnoughts, one light cruiser, and one destroyer. For that, we sent two armored cruisers, three light cruisers, and two destroyers. Um, while it's probably a victory for them, I think we actually sank more strategic points worth of ship. Blockaded. Let's see how are we doing? All my biscuits will be done pretty soon. And my I'll resume you. Yes, I'll accept a cruiser battle. Germany declines cruiser battle. Okay. Fleet battle. All right. Let's do this again. Ooh. So, that was not good. Don't know what happened there, but. Eh. Go back up the full screen here. Old French armored cruiser here. <laughs> have a weird ship. Uh, coastal raid. What do I have? Armored cruisers. I'll accept. Okay. All right. Well, we broke. We have broken the blockade at least. Resume construction here. Those minesweepers are getting in. All right, enemy coastal bombardment, large size. I'll accept. Germany declines. Right on coastal shipping, I'll decline. Cruiser action, accept. Unknown ship spotted. Okay, so this is going to be a close range brawl. Okay, so I don't know which way is which way it's actually traveling. So I'm going to take a guess. Ah. Okay, 
light cruiser like one of my armored cruisers against the light cruiser and the destroyer. Okay. Now, swing back this way again. I actually want to stay behind to avoid torpedoes. Destroyer. Well, ship, both of those ships have taken hits now. Oh, there are two light cruisers. Good. Turn to avoid overtaking them. Now what do we have? We have more light cruisers joining again. Hey, the more the merrier, really. Now they're spreading out, so I'm going to have to choose. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the Giffen. I'll let the Danzing and the Bremen get away. That fuel. Never really seen, other than, you know, pausing when you're on a continuous run, fuel having any sort of effect in game. Alright, three funds of honor. Let's see if we can catch up to these other two. Highly doubt we'll make contact with them again, but we can always try. Oh, did we? How about that? Yay! Don't. No. Yes, that is them. I don't know what possessed them to come back, but thank you. I appreciate it, really, I do. All right, so I've already got one light cruiser kill to my name. See if I can pick up one, maybe two more if they keep doing this. Imagine at some point I need to turn here. This is getting torpedo dangerous. All right. Got him in a stern chase. Bremen. Danzig and Bremen both took a hit there, so I guess my main armament and secondary armament are firing at different targets. Which is fine. I lost sight on both of them. Yep, yeah, that might be the end of it here since darkness is closing in. Head for their port. Maybe we'll bump into them again. So I got one light cruiser sunk and two of them pretty badly damaged. There we go, we bumped into them again. Which one is this?
There we go. Ah, the Danzig. Oh, the Danzig's been hit. <laughs> All right. Back up there. I'm pretty sure the Danzig's a goner. Because it took a full broadside right there as we passed. Put everything I had into it. All right. We're just going to do the circle of death here. I want to say it's a goner, it probably is, but at the same time I've seen these things survive hits that they really shouldn't. Okay. Not saying it's a destroyer, we know better. All right. So now we've added two light cruisers. See if we can bump into that third one again. Nope. All right. So there was a total of four light cruisers out here. And they did no damage to me, apparently. I sank two of them and damaged two more. Major victory. Now, in service here, get all my minesweepers, all of you. Uh, you don't need to finish working up. I want you to go straight to Coastal Patrol. And now I think I still have, yes, some light cruisers on Coastal Patrol. So you're going to go to Active Fleet. I got my three AMCs working up still. What do I have under construction? Right, under construction, right, I have two battleships still being, and my biscuits are going to start coming out next month. Nice and hot and fresh out of the oven. Rifleman is commissioned to the Navy. I actually like that name. Nemesis, Minstrel, Fury, Chameleon, Goldfinch, Comet, Brisk, yeah. Wolverine. Grasshopper. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cruiser action. This is going to be the last battle of this episode, I do believe. Let's see, I got one of my armored cruisers. And then two, two destroyers and one light. Alright. So let's see what the Germans are going to throw at us this time. Unknown ship spotted. Okay, squad map. Intercept. Well, that's a light cruiser in serious trouble. Don't know what those two are yet. I think they're probably light cruisers too. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, a battle cruiser, really? Have a look see at this. Yeah, 10 12 inch guns, 6.5 inch belt. I'm going to withdraw. I wouldn't mind facing one battle cruiser with my armored cruiser, but not two. No, this is the Kent class, so I mean, it's my better armored cruiser, but still, it's only an armored cruiser. So yeah, I'm going to withdraw. Ooh, lost the Babylon Destroyer, so. I wish I would draw two. Let's head for Cork. Damn it, New Hampshire's down to 14 knots. The Hampshire is probably a lost cause at this point. Huh. We're hitting the malt. Well, Tolkien pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Hampshire just never had a chance. Not against two battle cruisers. Now, since they're under AI control, I'll probably end up losing this destroyer and light cruiser too. Yeah, it looks like though my armored cruiser's reign of dominance is kind of coming to an end. They were great early on. Now that they're facing battle cruisers, not so much. I mean, they can't, can't take on a single battle cruiser, technically, but yeah. I guess once this battle's over, I'll go ahead and design a new class of either armor cruiser or battle cruiser, depending on how the game's going to let me do it. I'd rather just do another armored cruiser because they build so much faster. And we only inflicted light damage on those two battle crews. Use one prestige. All right, and they're opening up a bit of a lead here. Okay, so let's design a new ship. We will use Kent as the prototype. Okay.
But to make this happen, I am going to drop down, take these guys up to 11. Tertiaries must be the same, 14 inch. Now, twenty two knots. Now, this would still be considered an armored cruiser, <laughs> I think. Torpedo protection, yes, definitely need torpedo protection. Seriously, this <laughs> this thing here should be able to handle any battle cruiser up there right now. Well, 14 inch main guns. Now, hmm. the problem is, of course, there's no direct around secondary ship. That comes along eventually, but I don't have it right now. Check. All okay. So, A. All right, so it's going to be the Hague class. See now that'll be done in twenty three months. I have an actual battle cruiser designed. So let's go ahead and design a battle cruiser. Inflexible. Fifteen inch guns. All right. Clear these turrets. I don't like the turret layout. I really don't like the look of the board or superimposed, half, half superimposed, not singles. Clear turrets. Head turret, triple turrets, board, B, X, and Y. I'm going to get rid of all torpedoes on this. Don't serve any purpose. Give it some ammunition. Okay, forty one thousand tons. Dominable fifteen inch guns. No torpedoes. No tertiaries, which is good. 24 6 inch secondaries. Central firing. Alright. This is a very powerful battle cruiser. Now, this is the problem with battle cruisers, though. My armored cruiser here is going to be done in 23 months. Probably going to take like 33. Short range. I don't need short range on a battle cruiser. Ooh, maybe I do need short range on a battle cruiser. There we go. 25 knots is. 
Okay. Uh, anything else I want to change? Go with just nine inches belt. Then I can get two inches of belt uh, deck extended. Deck at 2.5 is okay. For it, for it top. All right, this will work. Yeah, this is going to cost five million per turn to build. Indomitable. You know, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Only twenty-seven months. I still think the Kent class would be for the Hugh now is a better deal. Now we need about four. What do I want to build with this 1.4 million left? Got plenty of biscuits. How do I know what I can do? I can do. I don't need any more biscuits. I got plenty of biscuits. The Derwent is supposed to be an actual destroyer, but that's a really old design now that's been rebuilt. I guess for the time being, how's my intel doing? Got high intel on everybody I need. Come on. building submarines this build through so let's go ahead and just build a coastal battery I'll put it here and, uh, Gibraltar okay and I'm going to end the episode here thank you very much for watching see you next time